Hello, my name is Eduardo and today I am here with another tutorial for GIMP and this tutorial it is about how to color black and white images. In this case, I have this image, okay, that is a uh, front Mexican revolution. This is Zapata and I guess this is its bro his brother. Well, um, the idea here, uh, I'm going to show you two different ways to do this. One that it's quite automatic thing, okay, almost, and the other one that it's more manual, okay. So, well, let's start with this. So, for that, we are going to delete everything and we are just going to keep this one. Well, we are going to keep this one that I did. So, you have your original picture. So, the first thing it is duplicate your original uh, image just in case you mess with something. Okay, so we are not going to work in it, but that is a good uh, thing. Now, you select your layer of your image. We are going to check this, change this to backup. Well, image. Now we're going to go here. Uh, you have to install uh, these plugins uh, called uh, Gimmick. So I will uh, leave you the link into the description. Okay, just for you to check these plugins. Okay, it is very easy to uh, install them into Gimp. Okay, so what? Uh, once you have installed Gimmick, you go here to Gimmick, to the bottom, and then you're going to see a lot of uh, filters and effects and everything. So you're going to go where the one that it says black and white, you just expand the menu and look for Colorize. You can select different ways, okay, So, but this is the one that we're going to use. Colorize Interactive. Okay, well, we have colorized interactive. Then you just have to check this thing. So we're going to say uh, everything in default. Okay, just let me clean everything because I was working with this. So uh, output mode in place, default, everything is okay. So now uh, check. Here we have input black and white photograph. Okay, so you have another options image plus colors multi layers we are going to use only colors only one layer or colorize image i guess we are going to use uh, this one it can be a good option colors only one layer resolution medium it's okay just leave this uh, as this okay so now um let's go here to apply once you do this in Colorize Interactive, these values, you apply. We are going to try, we are going to have this image and we are going to use this palette, okay, to colorize this. So let's start with this. So you have to figure out the colors, okay, so with the mouse wheel you just uh, zoom, zoom in and zoom out. So let's start by checking here. If you check, if I click on the image, this appears some mm, points. So we are going to delete them. And we're going to select some skin tones. We go here almost like orange, and you can select some of these skin tones. Okay. So it depends. You have to test a lot. Okay, well. So let's start with, for example, the the face. I guess that this is just one color that I want to use. I select click here, click here, click here. It's like trying to make like a simple mask. Don't worry, at the beginning it will uh, do many things. So, for example, these are the colors. Then you, you, you just press the space bar just to see a preview and check. It is colorizing everything because we need to add more control uh, points. So, for example, what about if we colorize this thing like gray? Gray, um, I guess something blue, but gray. I don't know if this is the color, or maybe brown. I guess, yeah, brown could be a good option. I guess that's okay. So now you select here some points, for example, here in this uh, 
suit. You just press the spacebar again. And there's not a lot of difference because the color is like brown. But we can select something more like this. Okay, what about if you want to delete this? Well, you just press the, uh, the right mouse button. With the left mouse, you just add control points. And with the other one, over the points, you remove this. Okay? If you click with the, uh, the left mouse, uh, you add points, but if you do it over one part of the image It's like picking colors Check. Okay, so if you do it with the other uh, with the right mouse, okay, so now we are going to remove this We're going to add like I get the color Here I prefer this one. I just delete these ones. I uh, No, sorry for example, something that it's important here. Let's say do you that you want to keep this color here. So you just double click and you add it here. So in that way it is easier. For example, here I have these four points and then just press the space bar and check. Then I do the same. Delete these ones here, here, and that's it. Don't worry for the rest, okay? So you have to try to colorize everything. Then, for example, the shirt, space bar, and then you have that. Now, what about this thing? Probably it is something like brown. Here, here, space bar, space bar. And that's it okay so just focus on this so it is a very simple process using this sometimes you need to add more color for example here for the wall probably something like yellow but you can add try many colors here and that's it then you have that thing Probably the hat. I'm not very sure about the hat. Okay, the color of the hat. Oh, you can add it. Something like... Uh, probably something more like yellow also, but darker. But probably it is like brown also, but... No, I don't think that is this yellow. That looks awful. So let's go for something blue. Mm, not that blue. And you just press the space bar to have just like a preview for this. Probably here. And that's it. Okay. I'll probably can try something like white brown uh, brown. Oh sorry, my mistake. Remember to add your colors if you want them to save them just by clicking here, okay? And you just have then your colors over there to use them later. Now if we close up to the face everything looks like the same okay so probably you can change you just click with the right mouse and to check to pick one color and then you just add some variations for example here and then you just try to come to combine these things try here for the neck we remove this one we add less color Here, for example, we just right mouse just to pick a color, and then probably something a little bit then we check it again. Here, 
Yeah, we remove this because it's so darn. And that's it. Probably something like that. Okay, just to color a little bit. So now here, just click spacebar, and then once you are happy with this, uh, well, we can try to colorize here a Zapata. Just pick color, and then you just can drag some here and here and here and here. And probably you have, and then you just have to work on this. Then you just check the colors, probably here. And that's it. Probably the head. And it's like that. Then you just pick color, just click in here. And then you just select white color, probably here. And then you can change this to something like gray. that's it so now once you're happy with this you just um, let me check here let me take color here probably here here just to get some variation and I guess that's okay this is just a fast example guys so for example I take here with the right mouse button yeah, probably something darker just for this part probably for these things I don't know if they are like shiny or something probably this don't worry if you have this problem just pick color from here and click in here and that's it so and that's it. Once you're happy with this, you just click enter. Okay. And you just wait a little bit. You just close. And that's it. Now you have the image. Okay. Remember that I told you to have a backup. Well, you have your backup and then you just can select here the, the transparency modes just to color probably. Oh, sorry, not this one, the other one. The colors that you just got from uh, the plugin. And you have to make some adjustments, okay? So here, you can use this one, okay? Or you can use color or multiply. You can try different modes. And if you check, they are very hard, okay? So, but well, you can fix that thing. So now, that happens because we use uh, to have all the colors in here. This is useful. If you check, we have this. This is useful. Let's duplicate this one again. We open again this thing. Then you just apply. We have the same points. Okay. So now let's close it again. Sorry. And I did the same, sorry, I, it was a mistake, just undone, again, open, show again, Jimic. you have these previous things saved, but here we are going to select something, colorized image, then we just select uh, apply or accept, you have the same points, and then you are going to select enter, and you have the colorized image here. Also, we have the colors in the other one because we did it before. You just can use them to colorize or just to have a reference. Okay? Well, this is a way to do it.
Obviously, you need to fix a lot, but for something fast, it is really, really, really cool. Okay. Now, let's do something different. Now, if you want to do this manually, you just create a new layer. So let's create this new layer and we're going to call it colors. So, and then you just start working with your uh, brush or the uh, aerograph. You just double click, check the settings. You can just set the transparency to 50. Just check the brush, the size of the brush. And then you just start working here. Now, it is to work with, make sure you are in the layer colors then you just start working with these skin tones okay so you can start with solid colors or you can use your reference image okay this one of the colors and you can start like working with that one so you just change as this one I mean, You just set it to normal and you can start working with this one. So, here, and you set it. This is just to have a reference. I mean, here, color, and you have the colors and you can start working with that. Or you can start from this new layer, just adding color. For example, let's start with something like skin here that it's in the orange check what happens it is like blocking the face so you just change the transparency mode to color and that's it it looks better then you need to work more with the colors that you want you don't have to be really really, really accurate right now you can make a layer a mask a pad okay to be very uh, precise with this but I recommend that you start like working like this try to add in many colors so for example if you want to desaturate this just add something like white a little black okay check the transparency mode if you feel to make it more uh, less aggressive the color and don't close this you just start like selecting this colors and this so we have a lot of oranges and reds you can add more red here and then you start like changing this it is just to try and test okay so for example here is very rich okay so then you just start like removing color for example here something orange then you reduce this a little bit bigger then you just can add some of this a little black just a little start adding more for example the mustache probably was like black so you reduce the size of your brush or hairbrush then here we have a lot of color so we can remove that or we can add black just check then we just add a little more color just a little and obviously results are quite a little bit better we just remove this Right. 
I leave ellipse more like red we reduce this I mean not a lot then probably in the eyes we reduce brush oops sorry not a lot of here sorry click then just check we try to add some white in here okay also you can add another layer for these normal colors and then you just modify not changing this just let it to normal and you just change the opacity probably for the white you select the this one that's it probably for the eyes something white uh, black I mean also here I mean image is not a very good quality but here a little here then probably for white for the eyebrows it's eyebrows I hope yeah you just can add more black to the mustache really cool mustache and that's it face looks quite okay maybe here we need to a little bit to adjust this thing you can use this one uh, this is to mix a little bit the colors you just change here the tool a little bit bigger I mean here you just mix your colors well and that's it probably um, here in colors we are in colors or here in kappa that is the, something like black and white colors we can add something darker but we're going to use here this and probably we change the size so and that's it that's it probably also the ear hair and then you have that thing quite 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 good not perfect but quite good then here in the colors layer you can use this color picker with using the O and probably you can add more of this color to here That's it. Only this one. And you have that. And then you just need to colorize everything. Okay, so you then you can delete things. Uh, but basically that is the way to do this. Okay. So you can do it like as I show you before or like this. Okay, then what if you want to add just uh, a mask for this uh, part, this suit, okay? Well, you just here a path, and then you start by dragging points here. Just first, I have a tutorial about how to make this, okay? You can make it, first make a very fast mask or path. It's like a wall hat. Then you just double click in here, edit mode and then you start like adding points so you just click in the middle of the lines and then you start adding points okay here to remove a point you just click shift over the point and you remove it so then you just can fix this kind of path 
that it's going, it's going to help us as a mask. Yeah, you can add as many as you want or need. You just remove this one here. I mean, these processes about colorizing images are uh, you need a lot of time, okay, to work with them. So now, uh, but you can get some very fast results if you need for something special, okay, some family photos or something. I guess you can do a pretty decent job with them. Now, check here, I have a, a white hole, okay, so to do that, I'm going to click here in the tool again, here, design, and then you just, I'm going to add another mask or path. Close to close the path, just shift control and check the icon, and that's it. Then, if you are satisfied with your mask, okay, right, I select here, edit. So if you are satisfied with your mask, you just click on uh, enter, you enter here, or you click here, create selection, okay, from the uh, path. Then you just have this mask, you go here, and then just have like colorizing things. You can create a new layer if you want for this part of the cloud, so it's always a good thing. Just change to color, and then you just fill it with something like, uh, what about, it just was something like gray blue. Here, select, All right, that's it. Or you can change it for something like brown. Or probably it was something reddish. Obviously, you need to adjust the opacity. But I guess it, this one looks better in blue. Yes, I like more that one. I don't think that it was like, uh -huh, but I don't know. So you are, if you are satisfied with the color, then you just can adjust the opacity, and that's it. Then you just select none or nothing, or you keep, you just keep it like that, and you can add more details with the brush. Probably some darker areas here. And then you just use your aerograph, okay, you just change the size, just to give some variation, here, darker, here, here, here. And that's it. Now we do the same as in the other one, we create another layer for uh, shadows and lights over this part. So. This is going to be a little bit different than check. For example, I want to have here darker area. So I'm going to select black. Then you select this part like this, something like this, cool. Here darker, darker here, darker, darker. Then um, for the lights, I can create another one. I can use this one. So I sometimes prefer to use Two, but well, let's do this here. There's a little light here, here, light here. That's it. And then we are going to select here filters and we are going to blur Gaussian blur. We're going to select something like 20, depending on your image. You can increase this value. So we don't want to have a very dramatic effect, except. And then you are going to select normal to overlapping. That's it. And check. Just to give some variation, okay, to this thing. And we can just select the layer colors and we can just uh, select none. And we can add colorizing this to white. And that's it. Don't worry about this one because this is a safe layer. And that's it. 
you can start like changing this if it's too white you can select gray color and that's it now you should check we have to remove some things some areas you can use your eraser here and that's it this is the way you do it okay so you the way you colorize these images using a uh, game also the hat you can make something really fast okay you can use instead of the brush you can use a solid color with uh, I mean the airbrush instead of the airbrush you can use here aerograph I say aerograph is airbrush sorry but for example the color for this it can be something like this then you just uh, can increase this here something fast just be careful with the face and everything and you start like changing a uh, colors okay opacity you can change the opacity to color everything solid color so for example this is the solid color and then you are going to remove this with the mask or with the eraser so don't worry so this is just something fast okay so for example if you color like this then you just go for the airbrush and then you start like modifying things okay so you just can like start like here using this to make it look less dramatic probably here start like brushing I am using just a mouse okay so if you have a tablet or something but it would be like better a lot a lot better and easier that's it and just that's the way so and as I told you you can delete everything with the eraser or you can just make a mask or uh, this one use this one design and create a new mask so very fast something like this click click okay click click we close with control then we just adjust this thing then you just select here create selection then just invert so and then we can erase this thing here because it's in an inverted mask just be careful with the face that's it then we just select none we go to layers and that's it so I'm not going to color everything, I just wanted to show you this process that it's pretty cool, okay? If you check, we have two ways, okay? You can use filters and you can use gimmick, gimmick and then you just go to colorize interactive and then you start like adding points and you can get a pretty decent uh, job like this, okay? Then you need to polish these things, okay? Probably you can create another one or you can get the colors okay remember that I show you the colors in the other one so it's here probably here and then you start like working with these ones or you just can do it manually if I show you this is the thing that I done manually oh looks okay but like this result looks much much better okay so well I hope you like this tutorial that it's pretty useful if you want to uh, colorize your old pictures so let's just color here or anything you have okay especially for family okay that's something sometimes we have these old pictures that we want to change colors so well, I hope you like the tutorial okay this game tutorial uh, I will see you 
next time. My name is Eduardo. Goodbye.